What's up, everybody? This is Eric the Tech Preacher. So I want to do a tips and trick video for you today. If you got a Samsung device, sometimes it's frustrating to watch a YouTube video in landscape mode, and then when you get out of it, uh, it your home screen automatically goes to portrait mode. Or if you in the app and you in landscape mode, and you like the way the landscape mode look, the, the large, larger canvas and stuff like that, soon as you get out of it, it automatically goes to portrait mode. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you on Samsung devices how you can force the device to auto rotate your home screen. Now, a lot of people use third-party launchers to do this, and you can use a third-party launcher to do this. And a lot of y'all guys that got Samsung devices and you've been having Samsung devices for a very long time, you already know how to do this. But somebody hit me up in the comments and asked me, could I do a video on how to auto-rotate your home screen on stock One UI? Sure I can. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So one of the most frustrating things with any Android device is using landscape. You wanna use landscape because it, it shows the, the, the more beauty of the device sometimes. Sometimes if you got a nice little wallpaper and you go landscape, right? And it, it shows the beauty of the device. And look, don't get me wrong, the wallpaper that I have right here doesn't show that well as far as landscape. But a lot of y'all guys want to know how to do this with the stock uh, app, right? Because you can use third party apps like Nova Launcher and stuff like that to do this type of process. But what about with one UI? Well, in this video, I'm about to show you guys how to do this. Uh, first thing you want to do it and also uh, when you get stock android you you notice that you got your navigational buttons at the bottom you can get rid of that also i'm going to show you that in this video too also i'm going to show you some tips and tricks on using a bluetooth keyboard and mouse because it's, it's a wonderful thing all right so first thing you got to do is go ahead on and go to your settings all right you want to go to your settings and you want to go to display all right and display you will scroll down and go to home screen all right, and in home screen, you got what's called rotate to landscape mode. Uh, when you get the device, it automatically have this toggle off. When you turn this toggle on, that's all you got to do. It's really simple to do. Now, I tried this on other Android devices, and they do not have this toggle in the home screen settings. Only with Samsung devices that I'm seeing, uh, you do have to download third-party apps, uh, third-party launchers to get this. Uh, but one UI already have this baked into the uh, UI. So uh, another thing you have to do is you have to turn on auto rotation. Once you do that, all you got to do is turn your dis device like this, and boom. There it goes, right? So now you have everything in landscape mode. And I like this mode because sometimes if you're watching a YouTube video and you kind of scroll up and you go to your home screen, you want to keep it how it was, right? And this here, you get a bigger canvas on how to, you know, you want to use your device in landscape mode. And you can do this, all your apps and everything. It looks a lot better uh, using this mode. I find it using landscape mode it, it's it shows off a lot of beauty of the device when using it like this now this is the galaxy fold obviously it's a bigger canvas but if you got the galaxy note 20 huge display right you could also do it in it and it shows really good right so everything will be in landscape mode as you can see everything is in landscape mode and it works great right so that is auto mode right auto rotation to landscape and you could do it on all your uh, Galaxy devices, right? And let me see if I got this on here. All right, so there we go. Auto rotation. All right, so I don't have it on this device. So let me go to show you guys how you do it. You go to display, go to home screen, and this is the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. There it goes. It's automatically toggled off. So I just toggle it on, go to my home screen, and here we go. Bounce it. Boom, there it go. Uh, I just want to show you guys this and also if you want to use your device with a bigger canvas, right? You want to get work done and one of the reasons why I like the Galaxy Note devices or even with my Galaxy Fold if I want to get some good work done, right? And I want to use landscape. Boom. So now I just I want to kind of use this in landscape a little bit. I got my Bluetooth keyboard and mouse connected to my Galaxy Fold, right? 
put that right there to my Galaxy Fold and I have a mouse connected. So now at this point, I could get a lot of work done here, right? So now, let me see and make sure I got this on. All right, so now uh, I'm good to go here and I can utilize my Galaxy Fold to the fullest here, right? Boom, close out all apps. And this say I wanted to get out of here and I want to go to like my word, right? So I go here and I'm going to type in word, they go word right there. And one of the things that I like uh, here when using the Bluetooth keyboard and mouse is that now I can get some work done, especially with the bigger canvas. Is a test. And there it is. So I have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse connected to my Galaxy Fold. And you could do this with any Android device, by the way. You could do this with any Android device. It don't doesn't have to be the Galaxy Fold, but you could do this with any Android device. All you gotta do is connect a Bluetooth keyboard and a mouse right here. And uh, hey, you could type away. Just open up a Word document and just start typing. And you have a bigger canvas and you could do this in landscape, which is really nice. And once you finish, you just, I just hit escape. Hit escape again, hit escape, and I'm back at the home screen. And there it goes, right? So I can use all the functionality from my keyboard and my mouse to get work done. So this is a nice little PC uh, setup here, and I can use Splash Top if I want to run EXE programs and connect to my PC or my server. I could do it just like this. Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, and you could get a lot of work done, especially if you're a college student or you're a business owner, or you just want to type a lot of documents. This is really good. So I like the bigger canvas. And then look, this is one of the reasons why you buy Galaxy Folds, and this is one of the reasons why you buy uh, top tier Android devices, because you need the power, you need the RAM, and you need the storage to do high end programs, just like what I'm doing right here. And if you go spend $2,000 on the Galaxy Fold Z Fold 2 or Galaxy Fold, you might as well use it to the full of its potential. This is Eric, the tech preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. I just want to show you guys some tips and trick videos on how to uh, make your devices work for you. That's the key to success. You want your devices to work for you. And the reason why you buy these high-end devices is because you want it to work for you. And there it goes, right? And by the way, this is the Galaxy Z Flip 5G. Uh, this is the Galaxy Note 20 uh, Ultra. And this is the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And this is the Galaxy Fold. Just want to show you guys. Boom, there it goes. This is Eric, the tech preacher. See you guys on the next video. Peace.